皆さんこんにちは、アビです。Hey guys, it's Abby. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys kind of like what is my study routine at the moment. So, this is kind of like my general setup right now. So, of course, you need a notebook, and I've been using this notebook for my Japanese classes. They already ended, but this is what I was using at the moment. I'm still using it. It's more for like studying, but I would use it for writing notes for the class. I definitely do feel like having a notebook.、Um, I prefer like kawaii notebooks. I get mine from Daiso. They're very inexpensive and very, very cute. Now, let's talk about the Japanese writing system, like hiragana and katakana. Now, this video is a you know, study guide for complete beginners. I definitely wanted to go back to the complete beginning. I wouldn't really consider myself a complete beginner, but I definitely wanted to go to the just start from the beginning because it has been a while since I last studied Japanese. So, the Genki book, this is the third edition. What's really great about this Genki textbook is that it has hiragana and katakana written on the first page and the last page as well, so it can really help. You can always kind of refer to that chart whenever I'm practicing my hiragana. Katakana. Now, you guys can see I had a hiragana writing practice sheet, and this was pretty much all the hiragana characters. I ended up printing out these pages for the class. I was able to find a link to the PDFs of this. They're from a website that you guys will see at the end of the video. I'll talk to you guys about some apps and websites that I've been using. However,、um, I will be leaving a link to this in the description box below for you guys if you guys want to also print out. Uh, hiragana writing practice sheet as well as the katakana writing practice sheet.、Uh, I think it'll be really, really helpful、um, even if you're maybe not a complete beginner but you want to kind of refresh your memory on you know the Japanese writing system. I highly recommend you guys to do this exercise. Either way, I still, you know, I'll go on my notebook and I will write. All the hiragana and all the katakana. I mean, something I'm also working on is learning how to say the hiragana and katakana characters like in order because、um, what my teacher told me is that when you learn the alphabet, like the English alphabet, right, you learn it in order A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right?、Um, that's just an example. Same thing with Japanese, A, I, U, E, O, and it just keeps going on from there. You have to know the right order. So it's just a few little things that I've decided to kind of learn because I feel like the basics is extremely important. So let's talk about、um, textbooks in general. As I mentioned to you guys before, I was using the Genki textbook, third edition, and I'm also using the Genki workbook. And this is just showing the basic greetings. So we kind of had to rewrite kind of what you would say in this scenario in Japanese. Um, and it really helped because I was able to practice、um, my Japanese writing, you know, my Japanese you know, spelling of certain words. So I definitely do feel like it definitely goes really well together. This is the textbook, and here you guys can see the greetings. So they both go hand in hand, and they're they're really good practice. So, once again, as I told you guys earlier, I just wanted to kind of go down to the basics.、Um, and I definitely do feel like this textbook is really great for complete beginners. There's lots of different exercises and different question sentences. For example, this one here, this is from the workbook. So, if you guys get the Genki textbook, I highly recommend you guys to also get the Genki workbook as well because it really helps you kind of practice what you've learned from the textbook. And it's just an awesome way to learn. This is another exercise that I did in my class. This is a hiragana practice test. It's kind of like a small quiz. Here you guys can see this, these are pretty much my notebooks and kind of what I was you know, told to do for the class.、Uh, we had to do this exercise for,、um, you know, we're a little bit more advanced in the, in the classes. I pretty much filmed this. Throughout my entire you know, time of studying Japanese, I was kind of like about a, a seven week course, and that's what I was doing. So, for this exercise, you guys can see I pretty much have to circle the right way to spell that word. And then here I have to, there are pretty much different hinagana characters, and I have to put them together where it forms a, a letter or a word. That's what I was doing here.
So while I study it, lately I've been obsessed with Genshin Impact and the soundtrack. I've never played the game, but I really want to because I'm obsessed with the soundtrack. Um, but anywho, if you guys are wondering, this is what I'm listening to. Best music of Genshin Impact, soundtrack collection. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and click on the video. And if you guys want to listen to some calm music while you study Japanese, this has been like my favorite soundtrack at the moment. So let's talk about manga and um, here you guys can see I actually recently purchased the, um, this is a Japanese version, this was not in English, um, this is the manga for the um, Studio Ghibli film House Moving Castle. I went to my local Japanese bookstore, I think it's called Kinokuniya Bookstore. It's, I've seen this bookstore in Japan as well so I was really happy to see it and you know, I always go to my local marketplace and I see it there all the time and I saw this manga from one of my favorite Studio Ghibli films, House Moving so as you guys can see everything is written in Japanese I think it's a really great practice for Japanese um, the reading I feel like I feel like it's really great to help my speed um, in, in reading Japanese and I think that what's better than to read a manga because it's pretty much like a comic book and it's you know each letter is so much shorter each sentence you know it's not this big intricate book that might be a little bit more difficult at least for my level at the moment and I do love this film I did also get another manga from this bookstore. I'm, I'm not really sure what you would call this, but it's sort of like a cassette. So in this book, I guess, there's different pieces of different, you know, manga. And they kind of pretty much you can buy each manga individually later. But this kind of shows kind of a sneak peek of each manga. And, and, and the words are very simple to understand. It's all mainly written in hiragana and katakana. And if not, Anji will show up there. But on the side, I'll have that like hiragana or katakana for you to pretty much understand or be able to read it. Um, now I haven't done a lot with kanji because we, we didn't get to that in the class But I was studying kanji on my own and I actually purchased this little um, notebook from Daiso It comes with this. I think it's supposed to be for calligraphy But I feel like it's perfect for writing kanji and practicing kanji as you can see the paper is transparent So what I have to do is pretty much write the kanji in those little boxes and I can pretty much reuse You know, I, I have that it does have that kind of white base with the squares. So it's just a really great way to study kanji. Now let's talk about vocabulary and um, it's something that I really tried to focus on this time around for you know studying Japanese um, because it's really what I struggled with and so since I was kind of you know studying from the basics going back to the beginning um, I decided to go over the first chapter of the Genki textbook and in the first vocabulary set of vocabulary that they show was in the book and learn that including the greetings that they show at the beginning. I did get these little sticky tabs that way I can kind of know where I let it off or um, you know I want to go straight to the vocabulary I know where I'm at and this is pretty much just basic vocabulary I already know all of this but I still wanted to double check because there were maybe just a few words that I hadn't really learned because I didn't think I need it but I still want to make sure that I know a bunch of words even if maybe won't be relevant to you know to me at the moment I just feel like it's always really good to you know learn as much vocabulary as you can since as I said earlier it's really what I struggled with at the beginning uh, when I was studying Japanese and I gotta say that learning vocabulary has really helped me because you know when i watch you know anime or japanese films or shows i can recognize certain words and so when they say a sentence you know they're using that word in the sentence i kind of know how to use it and i'll write it down on my phone and then i can use that phrase again
So let's talk about apps. This is a app that I've been using lately and I absolutely love it. Um, I'll be leaving a link to the apps and the websites I mentioned in this video in the description box below in case you guys are interested. So here I can make a study set. Here you can also kind of color coordinate the study set um, and then you can also name it. So here I'm naming it chapter one vocabulary. And um, then it allows you to like write a question. So the question I like to write it in English because when I practice, this is kind of show it to me like that. And the answer will be in Japanese. So pretty much I will look at the word in English and figure out, okay, how do I say that in Japanese? I think it's much better to do it this way than the other way around. You know, finding the word in Japanese and figuring out, oh yeah, what's that word in English? You know what I mean? I feel like it's better if I, I think being able to translate a word from English to Japanese is really, really great. At least that's how it works well for me. And what's really great about this app is that you can really personalize your studying. So here I'm you know, very specific to vocabulary one, you know, from that first chapter. Like I said earlier, you can really personalize it and really focus on the vocabulary that you want to learn specifically or anything. It could be a sentence or anything related to Japanese maybe even kanji so you can identify kanji so they do have a section where you can practice so as i told you guys earlier since i wrote it in english first you know it's going to show me okay how do i see this in japanese um you have an option of typing it so i did type it here you know you can easily just swipe left or right um, there is also a little smiley face so if you press on the smiley face it means you understood it you know the word or if you put well, i don't know then the kind of app will kind of you know bring that vocabulary word um it'll show it up a lot more often so that you can learn it and i think it's just a really great way of just studying vocabulary it's been my favorite app at the moment um and once again you can really personalize it and i love that and then there also is a quiz section they put nine um words or made nine flashcards, so that's the number of cards they're going to show up for me um, obviously the words in, in green, whatever lights up in green is correct. And then the one in red is incorrect. I got all these correct uh, because I do know, you know, the chapter one vocabulary really well. It was the com complete basic, so I knew it. This is what's really great about the app. You know, you can, you know, personalize your own study sets and then you can practice. There's a practice section and there's also a quiz section, which is really great. You can also make your study set available offline. So if you are on the go, you don't have internet, you can still study Japanese and I think it's an excellent app. I was not sponsored by this app by no means, but I just love it so much. So I thought it would be really beneficial for you guys. Now, this next um, website, so this is a website, not an app, and it's called JapaneseLesson.com. My Japanese teacher actually got the hiragana and the katakana uh, study sheets that I showed you guys earlier from this website. But as I was looking at the website, I found that they also have like a um, Japanese um, sort of course that you guys can take. It's completely free. I mean, it's very the complete basics of Japanese. They have 10 lessons and everything is taught in, you know, romaji. So everything's in English, but then the words, the Japanese words are written in romaji. So if you are a complete beginner at Japanese and don't know how to read hiragana katakana, it's a really great website to check out. They do have a YouTube channel where they have like different quizzes. So this is a katakana writing quiz. They will, um, this is more like a listening quiz. So they will mention a word. Um, I believe the word that they showed up here was chi. Um, and so they give you like three seconds to figure it out. And then, you know, the word will show up and pretty much you'll listen to the word that they you know, they said in Japanese and then you can write it down. And then there you can see if you got it correct or not. Um, there's also a section where you can learn Hiragana Katakana on their website as well. Like I said, everything's completely free. Um, and then they have that kind of, you know, those sheets that you can print out. Once again, I'll be leaving a link to those PDFs in the description box below. So if you guys want to print out those PDFs and, and study Hiragana Katakana, then you guys are more than free to do that. Um, I think it's great if you're a complete beginner or you just kind of want to refresh your memory on those. I think it's a really great exercise. Another website is called, um, this is a, a website that really focuses on the Genki. I forgot the name of it, but I will link the website. Um, and this goes hand in hand with the Genki textbook. They have a hiragana um, section as well as the katakana study section, and you can pretty much match the words. So you'll have the hiragana character and you have to drag it. Um, they give you different options of how on how to kind of quiz yourself. So this is a multiple choice one, which is my personal favorite way of you know kind of studying and, and, and quizzing myself um there is one that goes for the third edition genki book 
and then one that goes with the second edition Ginky book. So you can kind of you know, click on that and see what's relevant to you. They have a spelling section. And what's really great is that they actually number it. So for each, you, know, you want to quiz yourself on a certain section. It'll say like vocabulary page 32, for example. Um, and then it all you, know, you can press on that and you can directly see you know, what's on your book. And it literally relates to the quiz. So I know that in the Genki textbook, they don't really have like a, an answer key or anything like that. So you don't really know if you're correct or not. And this, this website is amazing because you can really see your progress and you can quiz yourself and test yourself and see if you're learning. Now, if you don't have money to buy a Genki textbook or a Genki workbook, then you can use this um, website alone or any of the, the websites and the apps I mentioned to you guys earlier. Um, instead of buying an actual, you know, an actual textbook and you can't afford that, then I highly recommend you guys to check out these websites and these apps. They've helped me a lot. Um, I really hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and to become part of the Kawaii family. Don't forget to follow me at the official underscore Abby for some Kawaii fashion inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.